Hey guys, this is part 3 of my 3D modeling series with Fusion 360. I'm kind of, and today we're going to be using all the knowledge that you've learned in the first two videos and we're going to be making a simple phone stand. Now this phone stand is going to be just similar to the ones that you would get a, a bent phone stand from like Walmart or like Target. So it's going to be very simple and you, you guys should be able to do it with the knowledge you've already learned. Alright, so let's get into this. So what we're first going to do is we're going to define a sketch on the right plane. You just click on the right plane over there. And it'll be right here. We're going to first put a rectangle that's going to be right here. And the length and width, the width's going to be 75 millimeters, which is about 3 inches. And the the thickness is about, or the height is about four millimeters, which is close to three sixteenths of an inch. If you're using that, either would work pretty well. And it's fully constrained. And make sure you start at the origin because it would be fully constrained. Next, we're gonna we're gonna put two lines. One is gonna be at the top right corner, and the other one is gonna be at the bottom right corner. And the third line is gonna be connected from here to here. Uh, as I said in the other video, the vertical constraint will happen if this is more vertical than horizontal. And it will become more vertical actually because of that. So if we click on it, it will become a straight line. And another thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a bunch of angle definitions. So the angle that's going to be between this line and this line is going to be 60 degrees. Here and here. It's going to be 60 degrees. Like that. No, it's stupid. Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to define a sketch on the right plane. You can just focus here. And when we're in the sketch, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a rectangle that has a width of 75 millimeters, or if you're using inches, about 3 inches, and a height of and a height of 4 millimeters or about 3 sixteenths of an inch. Either of those measurements will work pretty well in this. We're trying to replicate a phone stand with dimensions for like a typical iPhone or just a typical Android phone. So I'm just we're just going to go along those kind of lines. So after this what we're going to do is we're going to have two lines. One of them is going to be in the top right corner. You can extend it up as much as you can. Or, and the second line you're going to do is you're going to put it anywhere on this line. Just make sure it's not in the corner, because then it can't move. And you're going to assume you have a hard time. Then, a third line. Then we're going to put a third line that connects the two tops, like that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to put a horizontal, or a vertical constraint on this. Now, keep in mind, the vertical constraint will only work if this line is more vertical than horizontal. So just make sure that's the case. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to define the thickness between the angle, the angle between this, the height from here to here, and to make sure these two are parallel lines. So the way we, we can do the parallel lines is I'm going to talk more about this in the next video, but there's a parallel constraint that if you have two lines like here and you click both of them, you can make them parallel. And that's how it, and it would immediately become parallel. And this is going to be very helpful because it would make our phone stand look more realistic. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're just going to press D on the keyboard for dimension. And we're going to define the angle between here and here. And we're going to make it 55 degrees. And the final thing we're going to define is, the two things we're going to define are the thickness between these two. So between this and this, that is 4. We're going to make it 4 millimeters, the same as here. And the final thing we're going to do is we're going to define the height between here and here. Uh, we'll make it about like slightly higher than 2 inches off the ground, so we'll make it 60 millimeters. It's a bit slow. Yeah, and that's the first part now, and that's going to be the first entire layout. So now for the second part of the first sketch, what we're going to do is we're going to define a couple lines. I'm going to try to make sure I don't have any con built in constraints because I want you guys to just practice using 
manually constraining parts because that would be very helpful for other projects. So I'm just gonna put this like that. And then I'm gonna put more other lines like here, here, and here. And now the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna make since I talked about the parallel constraint, we're gonna make these two lines parallel. We're gonna make these two lines parallel. This parallel with here, so you're gonna automatically form a 90 degree angle. And this is gonna be parallel with this. And now we're gonna first do a couple of our actual dimensions. So we'll press D on our keyboard. The distance between these two lines is the same. It's gonna be four millimeters, or if you're using inches, 3 16 inches. It's gonna be the same thing here. So it's gonna be about four millimeters here. And then the distance between these two are, I'm gonna, hmm. sorry, the distance between these two are gonna be about an inch and like 30, about 30 millimeters. That's a bit much actually. So the distance between these two are actually just gonna be about this would be 20 millimeters. And the final thing we're going to do is we're going to do here and here. And the height is going to be about 30. As you can see most. And another thing that's going to be very important is to know the angle between here and here. So because as you can see, it can move. So what we can do is we can press the dimension tool. And we can click here and here and change the angle. We're going to make a 90 degree angle and that should be your kind of basic layout of our phone stand. As I said earlier, our phone stand is going to be right up here. It's going to be shaped like that. Or right up here as a normal phone stand you can get like a Walmart. Because it's just the easiest to design. Now that we got a basic layout of our sketch, what we will what we will do is we're going to use the extrude tool so we can we're going to select these 5 parts that are shaded and we're going to right click and we're going to say extrude and depending upon your phone dimensions you can make it as thick as you want uh, I'm just going to make a simple value of about 66 millimeters which is about an inch and a half or more than an inch and a half I can, I'll be a little more sure about that so that is how this is our, our first sketch is going to be so after we did that make sure it's one sided and a distance and after we have all the correct settings we can just press enter and this will be our first part now this is clear far from the final product because it would be we would want to have like a little hole here to for um, us to just charge our like phones so that's going to be our second step is we're going to define a sketch right here and we're going to put a rectangle like this and with a dimension tool we're going to make a specific distance I'm going to put it about 15 millimeters which is a bit higher than half an inch just because I think that's enough to support the phone and once that's out the way we can finish the sketch we can click here and extrude and we can I, we can extrude specifically to a face like this so it would just be like a straight up hole uh, which is what we should want to do in this case so in this case it's 20 millimeters because we defined it like that so we'll press enter and this is how it's gonna look right now now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one one final sketch in this and that's gonna be right here so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have another rectangle onto the side now the reason why I didn't have it so that it would um, the reason why I didn't have it on the first sketch is mainly because of the fact that I wanted to have the hole and I wouldn't want a single sketch to just be completely crowded onto each other so we're gonna do the parallel constraint this goes to here and this does here and this is also parallel to here and now the thickness you can actually make this any thickness you want but the main reason I put this is so that the phone's not going to fall out where I'm going to put it at four millimeters because it will support the phone and the height right here 
I'm actually going to make it 6 millimeters just because I'd want to have a little bit of like a space between them. I'm going to put it right here. And we're going to finish the sketch. Once the sketch is going to be finished, we're going to do two we're going to extrude this part. We're making minus 15 because it's going in a negative direction. So, and if it's actually already going this direction, just make it 15 millimeters because that's how thick this is. We'll press OK here. Then we're it's going to automatically unhide the sketch. And the last sketch we did is sketch three, so we click on that. And now we're going to do another extrude with this part, except we're going to make sure it has an offset of about negative 51, and the distance is going to be negative 15, so that it's going to form our second side like that. So now that we got our our basic design for the for the phone mount what what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a bit of modifications as I stated in the other video fillets are a great way to round off edges so the way we're, we're gonna start doing a bit of filling so we're gonna first fill at the base with these two with about four millimeter fillets and we'll just enter now the next fillet is gonna be right here we're gonna also make it four just to make sure it's a bit more rounded off and what we're gonna do is on this side what a neat feature about Fusion 360 is if we delete a specific side for like this sort of trapezoid shape if you delete this the actual side it will end up becoming a straight-up pointy triangle shape so I would suggest you just delete that face and it will end up showing this right here we can just take this and we'll also make it four millimeters because it'll look really nice the top two are also going to be four millimeters because that'll also make it look a little bit more a little nicer now these two I'm actually going to make these two three millimeters because we're still going to have to have enough space for the phone and these two right here I'm going to make it either three or four I think four looks nicer so keep it like here uh, the top two parts, I'm going to add more fillets along with these bottom edges and this edge, I'm going to shoot. That's my bad. These sides, I'm just going to make a three. Or sorry, I'm going to make a two because it can only go up to two millimeters. Sorry. And the final fillet we're going to do is we're going to do the bottom part and we're going to make this about, about four millimeters and yeah that's it that is how our phone mounts gonna look like now now the final thing I would really want or at least this is just aesthetics wise is that you can just add like cut out shapes but this is just the basic layout of how you can make a phone mount so now that you're done with this you can click control S to save and now you'll save it to a folder that you have any folder you have in Fusion 360 so this one I'm just gonna call it phone mount and it's gonna be saved in the Fusion 360 file in the file system now if you want to actually put this as a specific file on your computer you can export this and you can export it as any, any type of file type uh, I would suggest step because that's just a very light and very easy most used file type that's that's basically used to share with other people or STL if you want to 3D print this. Now keep in mind, as I said earlier, this is just a basic layout of how you would do kind of a modernized phone mount. And if you want to go even further with this, what you can do is you can actually change the color of this, which we're going to cover a little bit later. But just a basic gist, you can press A for appearance, and you can assign colors to this or any type of material the default is steel a satin steel but if you want to change it to like an aluminum or alu yeah aluminum you can change it to any color like blue or if you just want to go like a polished aluminum you can do that and as you can see once we change a color it's actually going to change right here so once it changes it's going to be an unsaved f file type so Make sure you just save it and you're good. Now that is it for this video. 
the next video we're going to be doing a little bit more on sketches i briefly talked about the parallel but i'm going to go a little bit more in depth with that along with other constraints and other shapes along with the revolute tool if you're 360. thank you